I'm trying to <clears throat> decide whether to build a home cockpit or not and my first step was to see if the hardware that I have uh, it's up to to the task so I've connected uh, using a triple head to go three 22 inch monitors for the main display and a 24 inch widescreen monitor where you see the instruments I've undocked the uh, PFD, the ND, uh, the CDU on the upper and lower ICAS, as you can see there. So I have four screens dedicated at the moment for the outside world using FSX for that. And here, flying, it, I'm getting close to 30 FPS. I started out with two monitors, then I added a third one and then a fourth and now a fifth. So at the moment I have five monitors. Flying I get between 25 and 30 frames per second, but when I was at the airport, it was an add-on airport, so that's heavier than default FSX airport. Um, but uh, there I was getting between eight and 10 frames per second. So. It was keeping a little bit. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to get um, software such as Sim Avionics or Project Magenta, but I'm inclined uh, to Pro Sim 737 at the moment. I've never used any of the three. I've downloaded uh, the demo version, so I'm going to be trying that to see if I can distribute the, the workload um, among several computers uh, hopefully uh, that will give me be better results than what I'm getting using uh, FSX and PMDG of course if I was able to do this would have been the least expensive option since I already own FSX and uh, the PMDG 737 NGX so if it all works out I might be building a Simulator home they cockpit. Really hurt by that. They've been crying about that ever since. Now let's move on to the relevant second talking point, which is far more. Mm -hmm. 